this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today, in this video, I am going to be joined by Esther, my little chicken, who has uh, still remained here since Easter. <laughs> Normally after Easter, Esther goes for a little wander, and she sort of goes around the town, and oh look! Look over there! I'm also being joined by a wild wolf. <gasps> a wild wolf. Who would have thought it? Anyway, and also, sorry for neglecting you. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee Bear. Good morning. And I am, as always, being joined by Lee Bear. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's he's eager. Look at him charging straight onto the balcony. Look over by the, by the water, Lee. Right, we need to be very careful when we play the egg game not to throw an egg at the... Um, uh, at the uh, the wolf. Oh, I've got a spare egg for you here. I think Esther literally just popped one out if you want a, a spare one there, Lee. And oh, he's got bones. Oh, what? Do you reckon we should tame him? Tell you what, Lee. I have lots and lots and lots of dogs and you don't have any dogs. So you know what? There you go, Lee. You have the bones. In a minute, we can go and try and tame and get you a dog. We can try and replace poor Sparky, who some of you may remember. Anyway, let's go play the, the egg game first then, shall we? Um, so yeah, if you don't know what the egg game is, basically we have an egg and we need to try and throw it, avoiding the wolf, and uh, try and hit one of these paintings around the area. And we've not done very well so far. I think I'm going to go for an easy one today. Right, Lee, which one? Which one's Lee going to go for? I think he's trying to go for the one inside my old shelter. Oh no, is, is he going for the theatre? I think he is. Oh no, he he keeps changing his mind. Alright, he's going for the difficult one. He's going for the lime green one. We keep going for this one and we keep missing it and oh, <laughs> we didn't break any trends today I'm afraid. Right, let's go for an easy one. Let's go for this one up here. This one's probably quite easy. It's quite close. If I go like that, Yay! There we go. It wasn't a particularly hard one, but I didn't miss, and I guess all that <laughs> that's all that counts. Anyway, Lee, have we forgotten something? I'm sure there's something we normally do every single morning and we haven't done it today. I can't think though. What is it? What do we normally do every single morning but we didn't do today? I don't have any idea, Lee. There's no point jumping up and down on the counter. I don't know what we forgot. Oh, what's that? Oh, our breakfast. I completely forgot about having the cake. Only joking. As if as if I would forget to eat a cake. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. There we go. And one slice for you, the way we always do it. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead off. We actually got quite a busy, adventurous uh, video today. Oh. Oh, sorry, Lee. Sorry, I'll open the door for you. <laughs> Come on. Actually, there's something that we should do. It's a bit messy, isn't it? It's a bit messy on the floor. It's a bit snowy. It's horrible under underneath my feet. Luckily, I got my silver boots on, but it is still a bit cold in here. I have a challenge for you, Lee. I have an exciting challenge. Are you ready for an exciting challenge? An exciting, heroic challenge? Nope. Okay, you can stay in the bedroom then. <laughs> it's goodness, it's a good challenge. No, Lee, Lee, come back down. Come back down, Lee. I've got a good challenge for you. It's a great challenge. Lee, come on, come on. It's, it'll be fun, I promise, I promise. I think he already knows what the challenge is. I think he's just run off to get a shovel. Right, the challenge is, Lee, by the time I've gone and added someone to the love garden and run back here, there needs to be no snow that I can find anywhere. That's your challenge. You can begin in three... Two, one, potato. Ah, no, 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 I said potato. Put them back, put that snow back down. Only joking, only joking. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. Right, Lee's got to try and get rid of all of the snow in my house by the time I have added someone to the love garden. I might add them uh, relatively slowly just to, to give him a chance. And uh, oh, oh, look, do you see that? The dog's jumped up. The wolf has jumped up on the love heart. Ah, maybe we could, maybe we could have their name something to do with love. Maybe it could be a love dog, seeing as it's jumped up on the love heart. Anyway, uh, today to the love garden, uh, I am adding Ali33. And uh, I'm adding Ali uh, because she draws amazing pictures. And uh, I'm going to be putting uh, some on the screen here now. And she's got her own art style. And I think all of her drawings look absolutely fantastic. And she draws me and Lee and all of my friends. And she sends me so many pictures. I want to say thank you very much, Ali. And welcome, a big welcome to my love garden. And look at, look at the dog. Look at the dog jumping up on the love heart. <laughs> it loves it. It thinks it's a game. That's actually a game I used to play where you've got to try and stand here and then try and jump up. You've got to like jump out then up again. And it's actually really difficult to do. Come on, i got to do it. i got to do it. No, nope, maybe I'm not going to do it. Nope. Okay, it's really difficult to do, but <laughs> the love dog did very well. Anyway, Time's running out, Lee. I'm walking back slowly but surely gonna make my way into the room. And ooh, 
Ooh, I picked up a snowball, but this is nice. This is much better. Look at this. Fantastic job. When he did all of that room, and he did all of this room, <laughs> he's missed a little bit down here. Time up, Lee. Time up, Lee. I found a bit of snow. You did a good job, though. You did a fantastic job. <laughs> it's a really fun way. Whenever you're told to tidy your room or do some cleaning or chores, if you make a game out of it like we did here, it makes it so much more fun. So, yeah, anytime you're told to tidy your room or something, if you try and make up a game, uh, then it makes it a whole load more fun like we did here. Anyway, have you got your bones, Lee? Let's go and run out to the dog. Uh, I'm going to let you name the dog, but you should name it something to, to do with love. Uh, but anyway, let, let's see if we can we can tame it in the first place. Oh, where's it gone? Has it gone for a wonder? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Right, let's see if Lee can tame it. Oh, not that one. Or 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 that one. And that one worked! Yay! A bit of a resilient dog, but you've got yourself a new wolf. Right, let's not go anywhere near the fire, because that would be a bad idea. And anyway... I should probably mention what we're going to be doing today. We're going on an adventure, a real adventure. We're not building, we're not playing mini games. We're going on a genuine adventure. We're going to the never. I've actually reset my never uh, right before I started the video. And I think I think Fred might be upstairs here. I keep hearing a friendly enderman. Oh, here's Fred hanging out. This can be Fred's bedroom. I didn't know what I was going to build up there, but that can be Fred's bedroom. That is amazing. Anyway, you shouldn't take your, your new dog with you today, Lee, because dogs don't like the never. Uh, but basically, there was a block that was added in a uh, title update 14 uh, called Never Quartz. And uh, I'm going to try and get some blocks of nether quartz because I am going to be building a hospital and uh, I want it to be white. And I think the nether quartz will be a good block uh, to build it out of. So I'm going to go and head down here through the nether. Uh, Lee should be following behind me. And so I'm going to go and try and mine up as many nether quartz as, uh, as I can find. And I've actually already got a few nether quartz. You may remember uh, there was a weird glitch I did where I made like full block half slab things. And I made a whole load of them, and all of them have just changed to Never Quartz. So I've actually already got over a stack of Never Quartz without even having to do anything. So that was uh, particularly handy. But this, this right here is exactly what we're after. This is called Never Quartz Ore, I believe. And so if we go and break all of this... Uh, we should get pieces of... There we go. We get pieces of nether quartz. And so I think you need a uh, four piece of nether quartz uh, to make a full block of nether quartz. And uh, then you can... <laughs> How many times have I said nether quartz? It's a really weird word, isn't it? And yeah, so you can make a full block of it. And then you can also make a uh, chiseled nether quartz and a uh, nether quartz pillars as well. So uh, there's a whole massive variety uh, of nether quartz <laughs> uh, loveliness that you can make. So let me just go and run around for a while and uh, try and gather up as much of this as we can. And then we can use this to build my brand new hospital and also whoa 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 that was a little bit terrifying right i forgot about the gas i might have actually come down here a little bit unprepared i have zero armor on me well i got my stampy style boots of course i've always got my stampy style boots on oh look at that shot one hit took out the gas check me out <laughs> anyway let's go up here and try and uh, dab out a little bit of this fire shall we because this might get a little bit dangerous yeah normally when going to the nether, you want to prepare. You want to get yourself some good armor on. I completely forgot about that. And so, yeah, I am going in just my stampy style boots. So I'm going to have to be uh, very careful while I'm down here. Uh, but something else I want to do while I'm here is also to get some uh, some blaze rods and blaze powder. And uh, <laughs> no prizes for guessing what you get them from. Blaze, of course. And uh, the reason I want to do that is because something else I want to do this video uh, is uh, make uh, an ender chest. And uh, to make an ender chest, you need a load of obsidian, and I've already got loads of obsidian back at the house. And uh, you also need uh, an eye of ender. And uh, to make an eye of ender, you need an uh, ender eye and uh, also um, some blaze powder. And Lee, turn around, Lee, can you see me? Right here, gooey, gooey. <laughs> He's finally made his way down. Right, Lee, mining never quartz. That's the that's the name of the game. You see, let me. Oh look, there's a gas tier down here and some gunpowder. I could actually use that for something else I want to do, and some mushrooms as well. And oh look at all this glowstone up here. Seeing as it's so easily accessible, I might... Oh, there goes... <laughs> there's another gas. Oh, he's right there. Right, can I get him in one shot? No, no, I missed him. I think I hit him, but he's still going after Lee. There we go. Saved your life there, Lee. You can thank me later. <laughs> right, let's go gather up some of this glowstone just as it's easily here because uh, I absolutely love glowstone and I've almost uh, completely ran out of it. Uh, after building the uh, the pretty kitty spa, uh, that used up all of uh, almost all of my glowstone. So let me go and gather all of this up. And the fact that you can reset your nether is really useful because as soon as you run out of glowstone, you can just go reset your nether and go and get a load more of it. <laughs> I should actually... 
at some point build something in the nether like this whole massive space down here if i blocked it all off to make it safer i could actually kind of extend my house a bit and basically use my nether portal as like a doorway to a new part of my my house that could actually be quite cool but of course once i've done that then it's going to make me never want to reset the nether again but uh, it might be worth it and uh, the nether is pretty massive by itself anyway so i should be able to to get plenty of nether quartz and glowstone and stuff anyway i've probably got enough nether quartz for now lee if you can carry on going around getting more glowstone and never quartz i'm gonna go and try and take on some blaze it might be a smart idea though to, to put some armor on first though because i really do not like blaze they always hurt me so i've got some iron on me let's just go and make uh, an iron chest plate and uh, some iron trousers as well then shall we so there we go now i'm looking a bit tougher now i'm looking like i can take some stuff on yeah, so yeah i've got some armor on and if i go and break this i need to try and get up there you can see all those those things actually if i stay down here and shoot some arrows up do you reckon there's a chance they might be able to drop them and I can just catch them from here? If one goes over the edge a bit, if I get a really good shot, I might just be able to make them drop it from up there. Are they going to go after me? Are they, are they, can, can they even see me from up there? <laughs> I don't think they can. I think they're wandering around going, who's shooting arrows at us? <laughs> right, let's go and try and find an easy way up then. If we just go and pile up up there somewhere... And uh, we can try and get on. I kind of don't want to go right at the end. Uh, just because, yeah, I don't want to get knocked off or set on fire or anything like that. So if I go uh, from here, maybe, and just go and pile up. And then I'm going to go and try and get inside of the Never Fortress just to get some more blaze. And I also using some more blaze rods will be useful so I can make some more brewing stands as well. Because uh, to make a brewing stand, you need a blaze rod and I think it's uh, three pieces of cobblestone. So I can try and do that. Anyway, I can hear something making some nasty growling noises above me here. So I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to be prepared to take on whatever's up here. Oh, no, it's right above me. It's right above my head. Oh, no, what a crazy place to go through. He's right there. And I know he's shooting fire down at me. God, he's setting fire to all the floor around me. Right, let's try and get him. Oh, I got one. I got him. I think he might have burned what he dropped though. Right, let's try and pile up here if we can and let's see where we are. Oh, there we go. I managed to get a blaze rod already. Oh, oh, oh. magma cubes as well. Let's go grab some magma cream as well while we're here because I don't think I've got much of that. Right, these guys can be pretty tough so I'm going to stand back and just fire a few arrows at it, I think. There we go. Let's go get it down to the, the smaller ones like this and there we go. It's dropping magma cream all over the place and then let's just charge him with my sword to take out the few little ones the little ones can actually be quite tough. They're not like slimes. Baby slimes are kind of peaceful and kind of cute. These ones can be very, very vicious. There we go. I managed to take out a bunch of them. Uh, let's put some torches around so I can see what I'm doing. No, no, look. There's more never quartz right here. Do not mind if I do. It takes quite a while to mine, actually. I should probably make a, a diamond pickaxe at some point. I do have a, enough diamonds to make it, but let me just go and grab a little bit more of this just while it's right here. And uh, let's go up here. I think there's some... Yep, there are some more blaze. Right, let's go and try and get another blaze rod if we can. Oh, no, no. It set me on fire. It set me on fire. Oh, no, no. They're all over there. One's on fire. Right, let's try and back off. And oh, no, no, no. No, no, okay. This isn't good. This is why I made the armor. Do you understand now? Do you understand why I made the armor? This could get very dangerous very quickly. Right, let's go try and take out just a few more. Uh, just to get a few more blaze rods while I'm down here. And there we go. I got another blaze rod. And if I just go and stand right here, uh, one should spawn in. And then I should be able to take it out almost instantly. Right, I'm just going to get one. And then I'm going to run while I'm still alive. I don't want to risk it for any longer than that. Come on, blaze. And no one's going to come. Unlike most googlies, they can spawn even when it's light. So even if I put a torch, like, right on it, I think they're going to spawn anyway. I don't know. Two spawned at once. Two spawned at once. Get them, get them, get them, get them. Please don't set me on fire. Please, Blaze. Please, Blaze. Oh, where's he gone? Oh, he's gone down here. There's a little hole. There's a little hole. Let's shoot arrows at him. Well, let's go get him. Oh, this is dangerous. Right, let's go grab the stuff and then get out of here. Right. <laughs> I think I may have overstayed my welcome. Right, where was my where was my little hole that I climbed up? I think it was down here. God, you could get lost so easily in a place like this. I'm glad I put my torches down. Oh, look, there's, there's never quartz absolutely everywhere. Okay, was it down here? Here we go. Here's my here's my little hole that I, I came up in. And oh, look, there's a blaze right there. All right, knock him back, knock him back. I need to try fire an arrow at him. Oh, no, he set me on fire. This is not nice. This is not nice. Right, where's he going to poke out from? I'm getting really hurt here. Let's have a, a bit of bread. Hopefully, I can, I can get my health back up. Where is he? Oh, I know he's going to be hiding somewhere around here. I just want to get back down to the ground. Right, if I jump on here, I should be able to pull back down. And then hopefully I can escape the, the blaze. 
Right, where is he? Oh, he's right there. Shoot an arrow. Oh, what a shot. Headshot. <laughs> anyway, let, let's go home then, shall we? This was our, whoop, rather exciting trip to the to the never. I have no idea where Lee is. He might still be wandering all over the place. Let's go grab a few mushrooms. And all oh, there's a, another little patch of never caught down here. And oh, no, forget it. Forget it. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't like this place. <laughs> I want to go back to Stampy's lovely world. Not Stampy's scary never. <laughs> right. I did it. Successful trip. I got everything that I needed and I am still just about alive. My fur may be a little bit singed, <laughs> but apart from that, uh, I am doing just fine. And oh, I can already hear Googly's back here. There's a zombie somewhere around here. And oh, look, I think Lee left me a little bit of cake down here. Anyway, uh, let's go and climb up here and uh, then let's go and uh, try and make this uh, never quartz uh, into some, some never quartz blocks. And I've never done this before, so I'm not entirely sure how it works. So uh, I think I just put it into the furnace and I, I think then that... I don't know if that just makes a block or... Or maybe I don't have to put it into a furnace. Maybe I just... Uh, I use a crafting table, maybe. Let, let, let's let's discover. Let's go on a, a learning trip together, shall we? Uh, here we go. I can just make it straight up. And look, I can get loads of it. So from that, I didn't even get that much. And I've already got 14 blocks. And I think I can use those to make uh, other blocks as well, I think. Um, yeah, I, I can make... Uh, there we go. I can make half slabs. And then can I make, like, chisel... Well, there we go. And I can make uh, chiseled quartz. And uh, then a pillar of quartz as well. So let's go and put them all in a row and uh, let's admire them, shall we? So that is just a, a block of quartz. And then this is a pillar of quartz, uh, which kind of looks like that. And you can do it sideways as well. Looks very pretty. And uh, then there's the chiseled one as well, which has got a bit of a funky pattern. There we go. Here's the whole combination of different quartz blocks. So uh, this is the, the main material I'm going to use uh, when I build my hospital, which I'll be doing uh, in the, the next episode. But uh, I did also mention that I wanted to make uh, an ender chest. So I might as well do that while I'm here as well. And uh, so I need to make uh, an eye of ender. And there we go. I've got some ender pearls on me anyway. I can hear Fred still up here making some, some weird googly noises. I think that's got to be Fred's bedroom then. <laughs> that's where Fred can stay. Uh, so yeah, let's go and try and make some Eye of Enders then, shall we? So I need to make the blaze rods into blaze powder like that. And then where are Eye of Enders? I think they might be down here. There we go. There's an Eye of Ender. And then I need to go in here and try and grab some obsidian. Should be in this chest here. Here we go. And I need, I think I need, it's, I think it's eight pieces, but I got absolutely loads of obsidian. I stocked up ages ago, which is really annoying because obsidian's so tough to make. And here we go. Here is my, my first ever Ender chest. And I believe Whatever you put in this chest, no one else can steal. And uh, also, if you had two ender chests, you could put like one here and one somewhere else. And they'd all have the same stuff in. And oh, here's Lee's dog <laughs> hanging out in my bedroom. Right, let's, let's, test, let's make two of them then and let's test this out. Let's put something very precious inside of it and see if it can go somewhere else. What precious do I have? Uh, let's put my, my, let's put my amazing sword into it then, shall we? Let's put my diamond sword in there and then let's go make an ender chest somewhere else. And let me go and see if it's going to be in it. I think that's how it works. I'm not sure. And hello, Lee. Welcome home. <laughs> oh, dear. It looks like he had a safe trip. If you want, you can go make some some never quartz blocks if you want. Uh, you just use a, uh, a crafting table to, to make them. But anyway, let's go try and make another ender chest. So I need to go and uh, make some... Oh, no, I've, I've already got enough blaze powder. So I just need to go and make another eye of ender. And uh, I've still got enough obsidian. So I can just go to chest and make another ender chest. And let's plonk it... Uh, let's plonk it down in here for now and see whether my amazing sword's going to be in it, shall we? And, oh, there we go. Look, Lee's got loads of the stuff. There we go. Got 29 blocks already. And as I told you, I've already got like a, a couple stacks from uh, when I got them before. And there we go. Here's my diamond sword magically teleported uh, into this chest here. So tell you what, Lee, this can be your chest and I can't break it. How do you break them? Can you not break them? Can I not move them? You can't break them. Does that mean there's going to be a chest here forever? Okay, what happens if you... Oh, no. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, no, we've destroyed it. Okay, okay. It, we're learning. We're learning. So tell you what, Lee. You can have that one, and then I'll go and have the, the other one, I guess. And uh, then we can have we can have one each, and we can store all of our valuable items in there. <laughs> there we go. Sorted. So in the next episode, as I said, uh, we're going to be building a hospital. 
And there's a few special rooms we're going to have in there. There's actually something that you can do, uh, which uh, brings zombies back to life, back to, to villages. And so that's something that we're going to be doing in the hospital, uh, as well as looking after all sorts of things. And I think after today, uh, we're definitely going to have to have some sort of a burn clinic in there. So whenever I singe my fur, I can go <laughs> maybe have a bath in the maybe the caring cat clinic or so something along those lines. That's that might be what we're going to call it. Anyway, that's the end of this video here. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later.